शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाध्याम जगद्व्यापिनी गिंगा पुस्तक धारिणी वाध्यापह हस्ते स्वाटिक मालिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धांगुण्याकोम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी So, we were looking at the shloka, uh, sorry, looking at the sutra, a complicated one, having many uh, parts to the conditions, many conditions in the sutra, which is achishnu dhatu bhruvam yor yang vangau. Achi, and this is an important sutra. It has many. Applications in Tinganta as well as in Subanta, Achishnu Dhatu Bhuvam Yor Yang Vangu. So Achi, this is very simple. Saptami Ekvachana when a vowel follows what? Shnu. Shnu meaning Shnu is a Vikarana Pratya. Shnu, a Dhatu and Bhu. Bhu form. So Dhatu which is what? Vyoho Dhatu or Shnu. Uh, this dhatu should be e varna ischa uscha u and tayoho vyoho. So ischa e is what? Not ikara, e varna. I may have said ikara last time because of uh, usage. You know, we have been saying ikara so many times. I have been saying it so many times. Kara is automatically gets added when to instead of saying e. So when it is e, when e is mentioned or u is mentioned without taparakarana, then it is not ikara or ukara, it is e and e will stand for its sour name also from Unadi Sutra, uh, from uh, uh, our sutras, uh, Maheshwara sutras, a e un, real ruk. So there, what is a e, a uh, or e or u, they stand for their sour name also. All these savarnas, uh, 18 savarnas, they will stand for. So e stands for all the varieties of e and here we are interested in ikara and e ikara dirgha similarly ukara and u ukara and others also but mostly these because uh, we'll have either hraswanta or a uh, if it is a vowel vowel ending dhatu then it either it will be hraswanta or it will be dirghanta so we are interested in these two so e e varna u varna so, ischa uscha means what? E varnascha, u varnascha, u, itaretar dandu and tayoho, yoho, shakti divachana. These dhatus which are ending with e varna or u varna or bhu or snuanta dhatu, snuanta means panchamagana dhatu, which will end in ukar obviously because snu is the vikarana pratya which will go at the end of the dhatu. Then, those will get replacements, Iyang and Uang. And what is this is an Apwada for really? If you look at it, most of the cases, this will be an Apwana, Apwada for Yand. So we saw that in the last part of Yand, where Ikara is replaced by Yakara and Ukara is replaced by Vakara when followed by an Ach. That Sandhi is overridden by the Sutra, Achishnu Dhatu Bhruvan, your Yang Uangu. So, E or U are the Adeshas respectively for E and U, Antadhatus or Shnu ending Anga or Bhu ending Anga. So, this is what we saw, Shnu Pratyantasya, Ivarna Uvarnantasya Dhatoho, Bhu Ityetasya Cha Angasya. So, Shnu Pratyantasya, so Shnu is, so actually this should be Shnu Pratyantasya. Shnu Pratyantasya, Evarna Uvarnantasya Dhatoho and Bhru Ityasthya Angasya Cha Iyang Uvangav Staha. Iyang and Uvang are Adeshas are for Evarna and Uvarna. If they are ending in the Dhatu, the Dhatu which is ending in Evarna or Uvarna or Shnu Pratya, then those will be respectively replaced by Iyang and Uvang. The content is Iya. और उ ई ई और उ व्हेन अजादी प्रत्यय फॉलो सो अजादो प्रत्यय परे इति प्राप्ते इति प्राप्ते व्हाट आर वी डिराइविंग 
So if, if we go back, we are deriving Pradihi. Pradihi is already derived, Prathama Ekochana. Now Prathama Dhyochana, when you are doing, here it is Supratya. So Supratya is not Ajari Pratya. However, when you are deriving Au, uh, Au Sthana, then what will happen? Au is Ajadi, Achi. So this, this Sutra, first if you go to Sutra Patha, go to Sutra Patha, Eko Yadachi is Prapta first. If you, if we didn't know any better, we would, we would apply. So it's better to go to Sutra Patha. Please open your book, Sutra Patha. Please open your Sutra Patha to 6.1. I'll uh, prefer not to do this on the screen because it is uh, across many pages. I have to scroll a lot of pages. Instead of that, go to your Sutra Patha and open Sutra 6.1. Eko Yanchi. Basically open 6.1. What is the sutra number for echo and in your book? So, 6177, echo and chi. So, look at echo and When we are deriving this uh, pradhi, here we are deriving pradhi. Varaha is not open. So, Pradhihi Prakrashtadhyasya Pradhi plus Au or Out or Out Prathama or Dvitiya Dhyavachana. What will happen? E Kara and Au Kara. What is the Sandhi here? Au is Ach and E Kara. E Kara is Ik. So, Eko Yana Achi, Yana Achi, Eko Yana Achi is Prapta. So, 6177 is Prapta. Now, our Sutra, 64, see 6177 Apuada is 6477. Both are 77, easier to remember. So, Yana Apuada to Yana is this Sutra. Mostly Yana and others, some of these others, Savarana Dirga Ityadi, but here, Yan, wherever Ach follows and Ik is in, uh, Ik, Ik, and what about, Ik is E, U, R, R. So, E, U, R, and R. Instead of uh, all four, when E or U are preceding, E, Varna, or U, Varna are preceding and Ach is following, any Ach is following, whatever uh, Ach Sandhi Sutra is Prapta, Apuada to that is Achishnu Dhatu Bhruvam, Vyori Angu Angu. So, this current sutra is apuada to all of those, whether it is Savarna Dirgha, in which case only when it is Shnuanta, that U which is preceding is uh, Shnu Pratyanta, or E Varna or U Varna which is there, where Ikoyanchi is Prapta, that is a Dhatu, Ikara Ukara, or it is Bhru, Bhru Ukara. Then what will happen? Ikara or Ukara will be replaced by Yang or Uang instead of Yan Adesha. If you get Yan, you will see only Ya. If you if Yan is applied. If you apply this sutra, you will get Ya. So additional Ikara is there or Ukara is there. We will see in the examples, it will be more clear. But I want you to remember this as an Apuada to Yan. I had mentioned it last time, I am driving home the point using Sutra Pata. So, 6177 is negated by 6477. And the next sutra, it says that now if you apply this, what will be the form? Instead of, see, if you do Yadasandhi, you will get Pradhyav. Here you will get Pradhyav. Takara is in both cases, you will get Pradhyav. So, if you apply Yan, you will get Pradhyav. Sorry. You will get Pradhyav. But what, what, this is an Apuada, Achishnu Dhatu Bhuvam. So, if this is an Apuada, then you will get, you are expecting it to be Iyam. So, Prad, Ikara will be replaced by Iya. So, you will get Pradhi, Pradhi and O is still there. So, Pradhiyav, you will get Pradhiyav. This is the form you are expecting. But what happens? Again, there is a Nisheda to this also. In the Sutra Pata, you can see the next Apuada. So, first Yan is 
negated by achishnu dhatu by yang wang and yang wang is negated by 6482 so 86, 6482 iti prapte when this sutra is prapta in pradhi then he reads the he narrates the next sutra so uh, this sutra er anekacho sanyoga purvasya sorry er anekacho sanyoga purvasya is an apavada to achishnu dhatu bhruham so yan is yan apavada to yan sandhi yan sandhi or any ach sandhi which precedes is achishnu dhatu bhruham you are your young one who and apavada to this is er anekacho sanyoga purvasya and what is the adesha here look at the sutra 6482 6482 is our sutra Air Anekacho Sanyoga Purvasya. Before this, we saw the sutra Achishnu Dhatu Ruang Yorungo. So, Yang Uang now these go to 80. Then again, Yan is reintroduced. Ino Yan by the sutra Ino Yan, like Iko Yanachi Ino Yan. So, Yan is reintroduced. Achi goes till 100. So, this is what not Iko Yanachi, this is Ino Yanachi. If you read this sutra with achi, you will get ino yanachi. So, eko yanachi is negated by achishnu dhatu bhruva, your yango, yango, and ino yanachi brings back yanadesha. This yanadesha has an anurutti till 87. And in 82 over sutra, prakruta sutra, ehe anekachaha asoyoga purvasya yanadesha bhavati. When? Again, this achi, achi pare. So, achi pare, a he, ane kachaha, again, so many conditions. Asanyoga purvasya, what? Yan, achi. So, achi, yan adesha, achi, and angasya is still there, angasya. What else is there? Uh, I think this dhatu also goes there. Even if it does not go, this is an apuada to the sutra. 82, we don't see anything here, but uh, see, this is an ap, yan is an ap, uh, adesha for er anekachaha. So you will have dhatu also here. This uh, dhatu is actually read twice here in the sutra. So, I'll, I'll bring the Anurutya of Dhato also. Let me see in my Sutra Patha whether it is there. You are not mentioned, but Dhato Anurutya has to be there. So, Dhato Avayava Sanyoga Purva. What is this Asanyoga Purva? Anyway, let's mark the cases first. Ehe, Ehe means for Ikara. Sixth case. Singular of Ikara, not Ikara, E of E, sorry, not Ikara, E. So, E, for E, this is the sixth case, A, He, like Hare, He. Anekachaha, Anekachaha is also Shashti Ekvachana, Asanyoga Purvasi is also Shashti Ekvachana. Yarn is the Adesha Prathama Ekvachana, Achi Saptami Ekvachana, Angasya, Dhatoho, I will bring down. Even if it is not marked, it should be understood. In fact, dhato here comes comes down twice. You use the pada twice. Anyway, let's look at the vritti. First, I'll explain the words here. A he anekacha. A we know as in ivarna, and a he angasya means ikarantasya. But dhatu is also there, so a he and dhato can be taken together. The dhatu ending with e. So, e varna antasya dhatos, dhato ho. And, aneka chaha, aneka chaha, ek ach, ek ha ach yasmin. Look at, ek ha ach, one vowel, yasya or yasmin. Yasya, yasmin va, saha, ek ach ha, ek ach, not ek ach ha, ek ach. Then, na, 
एकाच अनेकाच नंज तत्पुरुष सो दैट विच हैज वन वॉवेल इज कॉल्ड एज एकाच दैट विच हैज मोर देन डज नॉट हैव वन वॉवेल मीन्स हैज मोर देन मोर देन अ वॉवेल अनेकाच मोर मोर वॉवेल्स अनेकाच अनेक आच इज वॉट दैट विच हैज मोर देन वन वॉवेल इज अनेक आच दैट इज एन अंग सो अनेक आच अंग से विल गो टूगेदर अनेक आच अंग दैट अंग विच हैज मेनी अच और अगेन सी विल लुक एट दिस इन दी वृत्ति आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इंस्टेड ऑफ पुटिंग दम टूगेदर लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू वॉट इज अनेक आच सो यू नो अनेक आच इज नंज तत्पुरुष बिफोर दैट देर इज अ भौरी एक अच य और यस्मिन वा सह एकाच एकाच एंड देन न एकाच अनेकाच देन तस्य अनेकाच चह दिस इज दी एक वचन वॉट आर वॉट असंयोग पूर्व से संयोग संयोग इज कॉन्ज संयोग पूर्व यस्मा और यस्मा यस्य दैट इज वॉट संयोग पूर्व इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट संयोग पूर्व नास्ती वी कैन डू इट दिस वे ऑल्सो सो लेट से संयोग संयोग यस्मा संयोग संयोग पूर्व यस्मा सह संयोग पूर्व एंड देन न संयोग पूर्व असंयोग पूर्व मीन्स कॉन्जंक्ट इज नॉट प्रिसेडिंग न संयोग संयोग पूर्व असंयोग पूर्व सो दीज आर दी पद तैनली तयोग पूर्व सो यंड इज ब्रॉट बैक यंड इज दी आदेश यंड इज ब्रॉट बैक फॉर एन ई when an ach follows like eco energy but there are many conditions the apavada of yang and ong adeshas are is only is yang only in specific condition what is the condition that it is not for u it is for e so yang apavada is there but not ong apavada this sutra is an apavada for yang adesha not for ong therefore anurutti of uh, you don't need an anurutti of uh, u you don't need anurutti of yoho this yoho you don't need anurutti of however shnu also you don't need because it is u, u ending but e is there in the sutra itself therefore you don't need uh, anurutti of that because a he has been mentioned here meaning for e varnaanta now e varnaanta ई वर्णांत सो ई इज सेपरेटेड आउट वॉट कैंड ऑफ ई विच इज नॉट प्रिसेडेड बाय दिस अनेक असंयोग इज नॉट अनेक आच दिस ई इज नॉट बिलॉंगिंग टू अ धातु धातुअंग दैट धातुअंग शुड नॉट हैव मेनी अच अनेक आच विच इज अनेक आच असंयोग पूर्व से फॉर earlier sutra to apply what is the condition achishnu dhatu bhuvam the e or u varna which is at the end of the dhatu or at the end of shnu so shnu ukara is not a part of our sutra a eh. so here dhatu ending with e varna that is first condition that is the sthani even so it should be a dhatu ending with e varna and it should be a dhatu which is anekaat it should be a dhatu with many vowels uh, not many vowels more than one vowel it should be uh, so many is plural but here it is not many it is more than one vowel aneka is na ek ha it can be two also it can be more than two also but not one then asanyoga purvasya it should not be preceded by a sanyoga not preceded by sanyoga means it should not have a conjunct preceding so so many conditions ईवर्ण धातु ईवर्ण धातु मीन्स ईवर्ण एंडिंग धातु विच डज विच हैज मेनी मोर देन वन वॉवेल एंड इट इज 
not preceded by a conjunct consonant. In that case, that e varana will be replaced by not by em but by yand. So yakara, it will be replaced by yakara. That is the idea here. So many conditions. That is the complication. Now let's look at the vritti. Dhatvaya sanyoga purva na bhavati yaha e varana. That e varana which is not Bhattu avayava apart, that evarna asayuga purvana bhavati, it is not preceded, a part of the dhatu is not preceded by, uh, or uh, evarna is not preceded by a part of dhatu which is a conjunct. So it is not, meaning it is dhatu avaya sanyoga purvana bhavati, it is not preceded by, the, it's evarna of a dhatu is not preceded by another part of the dhatu which is a sanyoga. So if it is not like that, not a conjunct, then yaha dhatu hu, tad antasya means tad dhatu antasya, dhatu antasya anekachaha angasya. So dhatu antasya anekachaha angasya, that dhatu anta anga which is anekach, meaning which has more than one vowel, that anga takes the adesha yana ajado pratyapare when 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 a vowel follows meaning a, a pratya with a vowel in the beginning follows ajadi vowel uh, ajadi pratya follows then yana adesha applies to the anga and what will take the uh, adesha e varna the last e varna will take the adesha by anontyasya So we have this pradhi. This this would have been a form if yang wang had applied, but yang wang does not apply. Therefore, this this form is not valid. What is the form then? So here no sutra applies. This sutra does not apply, and what applies is the next sutra, which is. All of these forms you'll get. So pradhi plus o or out you will get. This pradhi e kara e varna e kara is replaced by y yana desha when o follows. Why always ach always ach. Here you have always ach, so achi is met. Pradhi e kara, the dhatu is dhyai really, but uh, uh, what happens is that dhai, it's the same dhatu which has changed its form to dhi. So dhi is, is as much as a dhatu as dhyai is. Dhyai chintayam is dhi chintayam. Uh, the same dhatu takes e adesha, so uh, ekadesha yukrutam ananyavat. That which has taken a little change is as though it has not changed. It is same as the earlier. So, Pradihi. So, example given is if you wear a turban, you are still the same person. So, one without a turban and one with the turban is same. So, this is like e kara is a turban and uh, yai is hidden by e, but dhi is still a dhatu. And this dhatu e var ending with e varna. Does this e varna have anything preceding? Yes, it is dhakara. So here what do you have? Pra, pra is pakara, refa, then akara, dhakara, and then e kara. So what is e preceded by? E is, e is preceded by dha. E is first of all it is a dhatu e kara. That condition is met. It is, is it preceded by anekach? Here anekacha, this is anekach. You see, a is one vowel, and you see e is another vowel. So anga has, anga has more than one vowel. Further, aneka asanyoga purvasya. Does it have sanyoga preceding? Sanyoga is preceding, but not immediately preceding. Pra is a sanyoga, but it is not immediately preceding. Immediately preceding e is dhakara. Dha is not a sanyoga. Dha is a single letter, so it is not a conjunct. So, asanyoga purvasya is met and also uh, all a anekacha, anekacha is also met. So, anekacha anga 
ईवर्ण विल टेक धातु ई वर्ण ऑफ एन अनेकाच अंगा विच इज नॉट प्रिसीडेड दैट ई वर्ण विच इज नॉट प्रिसीडेड बाय संयोग विल टेक यन आदेश व्हेन अच औ फॉलोस देयर बाय द आदेश इज व्हाट द आदेश इज ई ई वर्ण विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय य सो आई पुट दिस इन ब्रैकेट जस्ट फॉर प्रज्ञ सो प्रज्ञ य इज द आदेश यन and then there where the form will be what pradhyau instead of pradhyau pradhyau we will get the pradhyau as the form in both prathama and dvitiya dvivachana shesham papivat shesham papivat except for what all these pradhyau pradhyau then pradhyaha in prathama bahuvachana as well as dvitiya bahuvachana pradhya pradhyam Why pradhyam? Pradhyam is uh, pradhyam is dvitiya ekvachana. So pradhya is here. This pradhya will be prathama dvivachana as well as dvitiya dvivachana. Pradhya will pradhya will be prathama bhuvachana as well as dvitiya bhuvachana. Why? Because jats and shas both have us as contained us. So let's do a couple. So pradhi plus jas or shas content is us plus us. First word is prapta ekoyan chi ekoyan ki nisheda is by atishnu dhatu bhuva your yang vangu. So yang vang is prap yang is prapta here instead of yang yang is prapta. Now when yang is prapta is it aneka chi yes is it a dhatu hi varna. which is preceded by asa yoga yes then ach is following therefore conditional apwada to achishnu dhatu bhuva meaning iyam to iyam the adesha is yan again therefore yan comes back not by ekoyanchi if we did not know any better we will still use ekoyanchi yan is there as an adesha but not by ekoyanchi we will get prad sorry prad yakara and as pradhyas pradhyas will become pradhyaru pradhyar and then pradhyar will become pradhyaha so this is by this refa is by uh, sasojusho ru and then pradhya is uh, kharavasane or visarjaniyah so visarga adesha there by this pradhya is siddhano what else is there look at pradhya pradhyam so pradhyam is dvitiya ekvachana pradhi plus am pradhi plus am what will happen ami purva is prapta so in other cases you would have got ek purva parayo ho ek adesha and then you got pradhim like nadim but here you get uh, nadim or earlier we have seen another in pullinga itself so you don't get pradhim you get pradhyam why because even that ami purva ha ami purva is which sutra ami purva 61103 so 6103 if you look at in your sutra patha 6177 is ekoyanachi and then ami purva is an apavada 6110 ya uh, yeah, 107 in my sutra patha so 61107 ekoyanachi should we apply ekoyanachi no ami purva is there so ami purva So puro pareyo ho eka purva adesha. Thereby the form would have. So if you apply ekoy anchi, you would get you would get pradhyam. If you apply ami purva, you will get pradhim. Now ami purva also has an apavada in the form achishnu dhatu bhuvam. If you apply, so what are the forms in the sequence? So wrong or right? So let's say you had applied ekoy anchi, you would have got pradhyam. So if we don't know anything better, the form is pradhyam by ekoyanachi. Ekoyanachi. So this is yanachi is this is negated by ami purva. So if you apply ami purva, what will happen? Let me write this sutra before. Ami purva will lead to here ekoyanachi would lead to. 
pradhyam but this is negated so ami purva should apply but ami purva form is would be what pradhim i am showing you how apavada works if you have sutra paata in your hand you will understand better ami purva this is the next sutra which is an apavada but so this negates eco energy how about ami ami purva is also negated by achishnu dhatu bhuva achi achishnu dhatu bhuva bhuva what is the adesha vyoho for vyoho your yam uangau so in so what the adesha here by this sutra you would get yam adesha if you get yam adesha what is the form e kara will be replaced by hraswa ikara and yakara pradhiyam the form would be pradhiyam this is also negated by eranekacha eranekacha what is the sutra eranekacha uh, see i forgot eranekacha asayoga purva sorry anekacho so you remember if you don't break the eranekacho sanyoga purvasya purvasya what is the adesha yand yand would be the adesha asayoga purvasya so being an asayoga purva e varna which is a dhatu e varna and of an anekach anga ending with that dhatu so anekach anga ending with e varna which is at the end of the dhatu which is not preceded by a sanyoga therefore yana adesha is brought back and you get the same form pradhyam is this clear are all these four clear therefore pradhyam the all the form is same it is by this sutra and you have to go through all these to understand why yana adesha should apply okay i hope everyone has understood this i am spending a lot of time on this because this is an important sutra okay so uh, now now that we have seen these forms shesham papivat before we move on let's go back and see the utility utility of the earlier sutra what is the utility of earlier sutra this sutra uh, although i have applied this in the we have seen had it applied so all these are i hope you this cross is clear otherwise so this cross i'll mark in bold so that it is clear and maybe if you have red i'll mark in red as well i'm just keeping this only as an exercise but this is not the derivation so all these this apwad i'm saying so i don't know whether we, yeah let's let's mark it with color so that uh, okay let's highlight with color okay so i have not changed the text color okay so but this is right so this will be pradhyam will be the form and similarly the others also uh, here now it says shesham papivat Papi, we have already derived, so everything else will be like that. However, what about the earlier sutra? So, Achishnu Dhatu Bhuva example we haven't seen. So, Pradhyam is not right. Pradhyam is not right. So, let's look at the example. But I think he himself deals with. Let me see if he has dealt with an example. Yeah. So, Aneka Acha Kim. So, Aneka Acha Kim here. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So, he is. Uh, he he is given this example here for the earlier sutra so er aneka cho sanyoga purvasya is an apwada to achishnu dhatu bhuvam but we have not seen an example see here x meaning that this sutra is not applied so laghukara gives a leg gives a leg by to this uh, sutra which is a very important sutra but in the in a counter example to this uh, sutra if you give a counter example to an apwada sutra what will apply utsarga will apply so this example that he gives here as a counter example to this sutra one counter example that that has pravrutti of earlier sutra therefore 
it becomes an example for the earlier sutra. Okay, evam gramani hi. Gramani also will be like that. So, it will uh, like pradhihi, uh, pradhyau, pradhyaha, gramani will be what? Gramani hi, gramanyau, gramanyaha and so on. Gramanyam, not gramani, but gramanyam. By what? Uh, the, uh, this, er aneka chaha asayugo purvase yan adesha will apply. Now to gramanyam. So, in uh, when Ni follows. So, Ni will be Saptami Ekvachana. Gramanyam. Yeah, so uh, you get Aam. So, Aam Adesha, we had seen Aam earlier. So, Gramanyam is the form in the Saptami. Anekacha Kim. So, this Anekacha Kim means why is Anekacha mentioned? What if the uh, Anga is Ekacha? So, if it is Ekacha, this Apuada Sutra will not have Prabhupada. It will not come and negate the earlier sutra. Therefore, ni dhati. If you see ni, what happens with ni? Ni, ni what happens here? Ni, ni is what? Ninj, ninj prapane. So, ninj prapane dhatu plus quip. Plus quip when you do. Quip pratya. Then quip will make a karta out of it. So, Ninj Prapade will become Karta here. So, equal to Kartari Arthe, you will get Ni. So, Ni is a Karta, a leader. Ni. And Ni plus Su will become what? Plus Su. So, let us say Ni is a Pratiparika. Okay? Ni. Now, this Ni plus Su. Ni is a Pratika means one, Yaha Prapayati. Yaha Prapayati, uh, so a leader, basically a leader. Ni. Or uh, uh, I think yeah, Quip will give you uh, Karta out of it. Anyway, the Pratipadika is Ni. So Ni plus Su, what will happen? Sprathama Ekvachana. Ni hi. You will get Ni hi. This is clear. Ni hi is clear because uh, Ni hi will become Nir, first Nir and then Ni hi, Visarga. So, first Sasojusho Ruhu and then uh, Kharavasani or Visarjaniya, thereby Visarga. So, Sakara will become Visarga via Reha. So, Ni is clear, like Pradhihi. However, what happens when you do Ni plus Au, Au or Out? What happens? Here, he says Ni, Ivarna of a Dhatu. Ivarna of a Dhatu. And Ach is following. And this dhatu is preceded by na. Uh, na, but it is not an aneka changa. It is not an aneka changa. Asayuga purvaha, it is asayuga purva, but it is not an aneka changa. Therefore, aneka cha kim, here what will happen? Ni plus au, you will get what adesha? What is the adesha here? So, how much of the class is understood? What is the Adesha here? I am waiting. It is not preceded by a Sanyoga, but it is not Anekash. If it is not Anekash, then what is the Sutra which will apply? Will Air Anekashaha Sanyoga Purvasya? apply or not? That is the question. If yes, then what is the form? If no, then what is the form? Anyone? What? So, what is the answer? Yes to? Kalyanji, how is it? Yes. If air aneka chaha, here that I am saying that it is a counter example. How can a counter example to air aneka chaha have pravritti of aneka chaha? It will not have pravritti of, because he said, he specifically mentioned, it is, does not have sanyoga purva. It is, so, asanyoga purva, but it is not aneka If it is not aneka 
If knee is not an aneka chin, where can you see another, yeah, here aneka chin will not apply. Can you see knee, how many vowels can you see here? There is only one vowel in the anga, therefore here aneka chin will not have pravritti. So if it does not have pravritti, will it negate the earlier sutra? It will not negate the earlier sutra, therefore the earlier sutra will apply. And what is the sutra? Earlier sutra is, is giving an ianga only, ianga adesha. So you will get yang, yang, yang adesha here. And yang is this nakara, yikara, this e will be replaced by ear. So this will be replaced by e and thereby you see, you think that hraswa has happened but not hraswa. It will take e adesha and au is still there. So you will get niyau form, form niyau will be there. This is a rupa siddhi. So instead of, you don't get niyau, otherwise you will get niyau. Niyau is not the form, niyau. Similarly niyaha, not nyaha, it is niyaha. So similarly, so what is the sutra which will apply here? Here, achi, shnu, Dhatu, Bhruam, Vyor, Yam, Vangav. Please read this sutra many times. Keep on reading this sutra. Achishnu, Dhatu, Bhruam, Yor, Yam, Vangav. It's an important sutra. You should know when Yam or Vang Adesha is mentioned, you should know which sutra. Because conditions are important. Yam, Vang is very easy. But, uh, Achish, no, I'm, this, is, this is a general... Uh, uh, general uh, this thing for everyone. It's difficult, otherwise see, we will be scared of this sutra. It's not that difficult to see, but important sutras, even if it is difficult, you should read them. Atishnu dhatu bruan, your yang wang go. It's an important sutra. And everywhere where you don't see yan, but something like ya or wa, you see yakara vakara, but you don't, can't make out what is this additional ikara or ukara, where you are expecting yan sandhi, you don't see yakara, you see e preceded, e Ikara preceding Yakara, you see Ukara preceding Vakara. So we don't know how this Yan, yan Sandhi has worked in a very funny manner because it is not Yan Sandhi at all. So we have to know this. And then uh, Apuada to this Achishnu Dhatu Bhav also selectively we should know. So where Yang Uang will apply as an Apuada to Yan, where that Yang Uang itself will be negated by uh, the next sutra, Er Anekacho Sanyoga Purvasya, we should know that. It is Asanyoga Purvasya, but we should not break the word. That's why I am saying, if you, are, you prefer it, you learn it as Asanyoga Purvasya. Otherwise, Er Anekacho Sanyoga Purvasya, there is the, uh, there is a, a, a lopa, a varana lopa has happened there due to Sandhi. I think Enga Padanta Dati by that sutra, but otherwise, the sutra is what? If you read this sutra, the sutra will be Er Anekacho Sanyoga Purvasya. If you take a pause here, then it will become Asanyoga Purvasya. But it is a sutra, therefore you should not break it. Otherwise you should say Ehe Anekachaha Asanyoga Purvasya, which is reading the sutra with the Vibhakti split. With the Pada split, not Vibhakti, Pada split. Vibhakti is also, but Erane kacho, if you say, then Erane kacho sanyoga purvas, you should read it together. And it can be sanyoga purvas, it can be asanyoga purvas. Even if this is not there, this avagra is not there, the sutra would be read as Erane kacho sanyoga purvas. Anyway, so this is the importance of the sutra. So, ni, ni hi, niyau, niyaha. Contrast this with pradhihi, pradhyau, pradhyaha. So, pradhihi, Pradhyau, not Pradhyau, Pradhyau, Pradhyaha, not uh, Pradhyaha, but not Nyaha, not Nyau, Nyau, Nyaha. This is the Yangu Vangu. When there is no, uh, there are no multiple vowels in the Anga. Now he takes another example. Uh, before that, I think Amisha Sicha Paratwad, Yang, Niyam. So he will get Niyam. Yang here again. Paratvat, Amisha Sicha, we will get 
amishasi niyam so uh, yang you will get here and you will get just like this niyam you will get niyam so i'll not uh, do this form is understood here niram niyam so nehe uh, am so we niram uh, we have seen the sutra the sutra niram nadyam nibhya so niyam you will get the form niyam in shashti bhuvachana why am is the pratyaya and ni plus am will invoke the sutra of achishnu dhatu bhuvam you will get yang adesha so ni will become niya and niya plus am will become niyam this is niya plus am in dvitiya equation so what is the difference between dvitiya equation and shashti bhuvachana niyam and niyam we should uh, know so there is no uh, nodagama here it is not like ramanam ramam and ramanam are not very close but niyam and niyam are close so you have to understand these forms otherwise this can be confusing for people so mark together note the difference one is dvitiya ekvachana other one is shashti bhuvachana am pratyay you should be able to make out otherwise ni plus am you will still if we know only uh, yana sandhi we will still say niyam is by yana sandhi but not yana sandhi uh, if we say niyam is yana sandhi then what happened how is this ikara come in we will get the form niyam form is not niyam but here it is yang adesha so this ikara additional what is it yana sandhi but some ikara is there that is not right it is yang adesha asayoga purvasya kim now he is looking at asayoga purvasya does it have sanyoga in the beginning or not the begin, beginning in the sense immediately preceding that e varna of the dhatu does it have an immediately preceding sanyoga so if that condition is separated out what is the other condition the other condition that we saw in the earlier example is anekach so it should be an anekach anga for this example anekach anga but having a sanyoga preceding so you see here the example is taken sushriya sushri sushri is the example here so look at he is given two examples let's see sushri so sushri will be what uh, actually it's uh, i don't know whether it's sushri or sudhi let me check what example do i have in the book this will also work but i think uh, there are two ways to see this ramani hi niyo anika chaniya okay ya su shriyo su okay yavak kriyo ya su shri the jagraha uh, vakya would be i think su tu shrayati or su tu shrayati su tu shri asya both are possible just give me a moment uh, gatishcha sutra is another sutra following so hmm. okay let's skip the uh, we'll see this as to what is the vigraha a little later in the, when we go to gatishcha but uh, sushri so sushri here uh, okay let's uh, uh, look at the vigraha two possibilities of vigraha i'll not mention which right now there are two possible sushtu shri asya or sushtu sushtu shrayati iti so yeah, not shri shri would be uh, so yeah, one only one vigra is fine so sushtu shrayati sushtu shrayati sushtu shrayati means uh, ashrayati yeah that's a better vigra here because shri lakshmi cannot be called as sushtu here so shrayati shrayati iti upapada tat purusha here sushtu shrayati sushtu shrayati means what uh, very well gives ashraya ashrayati sushru shrayati shrayati is equal to ashrayati iti sushri shrayati is equal to ashrayati let's say ashrayati this is the sushtu sushri sushri is the pada what will happen here sushri plus su 
you add sushri plus su, you will get sushri refa, then sushri hi. This is okay, this is common to whether it is, uh, I mean, whatever is the vigraha, this will be same. But what happens in sushri plus au, au or out, what will happen here, here shri is a ikaranta dhatu, uh, not ikaranta, ivarananta dhatu and it is following, uh, it is followed by ach, aj, ajadi pratya, ukara is there along with ikara in the anga, so it is anekaj. Now, Ivarana, is it Asanyuga Purva? You have Su, Sakara, Ukara, Shakara, Refa, Ikara, plus Au. Now, this Ivarana is preceded by a Sanyuga. So, it is not an Asanyuga Purva, although it is Anekaj. Ukara and Ikara is there. So, although one condition is met, other is not met. And thereby, what will happen? This yan will not be applying, it is not an apuada anymore to, uh, to the earlier sutra, Achishnu Dhatu Ruang. Thereby, Achishnu Dhatu Ruang will bring an yang adesha, and the yang adesha, when it applies, it will be sush, this sushra plus iya, and then it will become sushriyav. Similarly, similarly, Yavakriyav. Yavakriyav, I will have to see what is the Vigraha. Yavakriyav. Today, Vigraha is not that important. Yavan Krinati iti. Okay. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> Yavan. Yavat Yavan Krinati iti. So Kri Dhatu is there and the form will be Yavak. So Yavakri is this Yavakri is the form Yavakri he first in first case and then Yavakriyav Yavakriyaha then Yavakriyam not Yavakriyam Yavakriyam because Ami Purva is negated by Achishnu Dhatu Bhuvam. And since it is not, uh, although it has many vowels, ya, va, so akara, uh, two akaras and one e kara is there, still it is not Asanyoga Purva. It is Sanyoga Purva. This e here is preceded by kakara and refa, kra. It is preceded by kra, Sanyoga Purva it is. Therefore, uh, erane kacho will not apply. Air Anekacho Sanyoga Purvasi will not have Pravrutti and it will not negate Achishnu Dhatu Bhruvam thereby Iyang Adesha will still hold and you will get Yavakriyam and so on. Is this clear? Can we move on? So this example we should look at both sutras put together for examples of uh, Achishnu Dhatu Bhruvam those examples are covered in the next sutra as an up as a counter example to this sutra. So, counter example to this sutra which is Napuada will be the example of the Utsarga Sutra Achishnu Dhatu Bhuva. Okay, should we go to the next sutra? I'll just start off with the next sutra. Gatishya. Gatishya is 1460. This is a Sanya Sutra. Gatishya. Gatishya Kim. Gatihi. Cha. So we have to look at this section, we have, I had mentioned this section earlier, 1460, 1460 sutra will be, 1460, so, so Upasarga, Kriya, Yoga, some sutras are there, Ya Pradaya, so, Pradayaha, Upasarga, Kriya, Yoga, 
then Gatishya. So these three sutras, Upasarga, Pradayaha, Pradaya is a Gana, Pradi Gana. Pradi Gana is introduced here. Nipata Sanya. So Nipata Sanya Prakaran in this Pragri Shurat Nipataha Chadeva Satve. We have seen these sutras. Chadeva Sat, I think we have seen this sutra. This sutra we have seen definitely. And in this context, I had mentioned the earlier sutra. Pragri Shurat Nipataha. And then Upasarga Vibhakti uh, Soprati Rupa, Rupa Kascha, all this. So let's forget this Vartika. But in this section, Nipata Pradayaha Nipataha. So Pra. Pra is a, is a Nipata. Pra. Pra Adi Eshamte Pradayaha. So Pradayaha, uh, these members of Gana. Pradi is a Gana. Their members are called as Pradayaha. Pradayaha, when Kriya Yuga is there, when pra, Pradayaha are used as, as a prefix, as a prefix, whether it is in a samasa or in uh, in a in a vibhakti of a tinganta, wherever you use pra etc. from the gana, pradi gana, then if does it have kriya yuga with the next pada dhatu in the uttara pada or not? That is the question. If the, it has kriya yuga, means it has some kriya sambandha. If you add that dhatu has some kriya. And every dhatu is indicating some kriya. And with that dhatu, if you say, say uh, prakarshena kriyate, prakriyate, I am just screen, say prakriya. Prakriya is that, that kriya, prakarsha, prak, prakarshena kriyate va na va. If it is prakarshena kriyate, then kriya, has, some adverbial sense is there of uh, this pra. Whatever pra stands for, I am just giving an example, it may not be exact. So there, pra has an uh, has kriya yoga with the dhatu in the uttara pada, which is kriya. Let the dhat, uh, let the word be kriya, but the kri kri, kri sitting there inside kriya that has kriya yoga with pra, or rather pra has kriya yoga with the next word dhatu. Then kriya yoga kriya yoga sati upasarga iti sanyabh. Sanyakam Bhavanti. This Pradayaha Upasargaha Bhaveyuhu. They they become called as Upasarga. They Pradaya Pradi members get the Sanya Upasarga also. When there is Kriya Yoga, what other Sanya do they get? So Pradi is one Sanya. Upasarga is another Sanya when there is Kriya Yoga. And Kriya Yoga has Anurutti till 79 Sutra. Till 79 it goes ahead. So here if you see Pradishcha, sorry, uh, Gatishcha. So Pradayaha Kriya Yoga Upasargaha Gatishcha. Why Gatishcha? Because if you remember something called as, uh, this is in the Eka Sanya Adhikara. If you remember Eka Sanya, it can take only one Sanya. Akadarad Eka Sanya 2 to 38. So, till the second chapter, second pada, 38 sutra, there is only one sanya. Only one. So, if you have got, uh, if you remember pada sanya, then once you get bha sanya, it, you cannot hold on to pada sanya. Pada sanya is there and bha sanya is there, both cannot be. If pada sanya is attained and bha sanya is also attained later, then bha will supersede pada sanya. Because in this Prakarana, Akadara, before Kadara, Eka Sanya Bhavati, either Pada or Bha, it cannot be both. Similarly here, this is also in the same Eka Sanya Adhikara. So this Pradaya, these which are called as Pradis, they get, can get Upasarga Sanya, when there is Kriya Yoga. So if they get Upasarga Sanya, then you cannot have Gati Sanya. But Gati Cha, Chakara, this Cha is added to show that although it is in the Eka Sanya Adhikara, still it will get Upasarga as well as Gati Sanya. So this is the Sutrartha here. Pradayaha, Pradayaha, Gati Hi Cha is Gati Hi Cha. In bracket Eka Sanya, all that is there. I'll just mention it so that we know what Chakara means. Akada, Akada Radh. 
Eka Sanya in that Adhikara. What else is there? Pradayaha. Upasargaha. Upasarga will not go, I think. Only Kriya Yoga will go. So, Upasarga. So, Kriya Yoga goes still. So, not Upasarga, Kriya Yoga. But, Pradayaha will go. Because, this goes till 60. Pradaya are predicated to be in Kriya, when there is Kriya Yoga, they are predicated to be Gati. So, Gati Cha. Akada Rat is Panchami Ekvachana. This is all Sanya Pradeha Eka Sanya Pradeha Kriya Yogi Saptami Ekvachana. So, what is the Vrutti? Pradeha Kriya Yogi Sati 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 Kriya Yogi Sati. When there is Kriya Yoga, Gati Sanya has you. We'll see the Vartika later. I'll just mention the Vartika. This is a complicated vartika. So, gati, karaka, itara, purva, padasi, yan, na, ishyate. Why it is in all this is introduced here? Because he says that gati, cha, but gati, sanya is also gati. That yan, adesha, which has given, been given here, he is interested in this vartika here. So, gati, gati, karaka, itara, itara, purva, padasya. So, if the Gati in Purva Pada, so Purva Pada Sya, Purva Pada means it's a Samasa. You have an Uttar Pada and Purva Pada in a Samasa. So in a Samasa scenario like Shuddha Ji, we look at this example again. I'll just finish this since we have started it. If Gati is in the Purva Pada, what is Gati? Kriya Yoga Gatishcha. Pradayaha Kriya Yoga Gatishcha. So Pradi, if Pradi, uh, uh, some Pradi Samasa exists. And in Pradi, whether Pradi Bahuri or Pradi Tatpurusha, some Samasa is there. And in Puropada, you have Pradi, but has Kriya Yoga also. So, if there is Kriya Yoga, then it is called as Gati. So, if Gati is a Puropada or Karaka Itara, Karaka Itara means none of the Karakas is there in the preceding word. Puropada is none of the Karakas. What are the Karakas? Six Karakas there. Kartru Karaka, Karma Karaka, Karana Karaka, uh, Sampradana Karaka, uh, then uh, uh, Apadana Karaka and finally Shashti is a Samanda, it is not a Karaka, Saptami is Adhikarana Karaka. So there are six Karaka. If none of the Karakas are preceding, so Karaka Itara is preceding, meaning it is not a Karaka, Yan Na Ishate, then Yan Anish should not be given in this Sutra. So he is, I don't know where this Vartika belongs. But Gati Karaka Itara Purvapadasya Yanna Ishate. Gati is preceding or non Karaka is preceding in the Purvapada, then Yan should not be done for that kind of a word. We will see the example Shuddha Dhyav and therefore Shuddha Dhyav is not the form, Yang is the form. Yang is applying and Shuddha Dhyav. So Shuddha, we will see what is the uh, Vigraha Vakya for this. We will see two Vigraha Vakyas and we will see two forms. Using this vartika or not using this vartika, either you will get yen or you will not get yen. So, if Shuddha is a karaka, then you will get a yen. Here, Shuddha is not a karaka, Shuddha is a qualifier, is a visheshana for dhi, therefore, you do not get uh, yen here, and thereby the earlier yang adesha applies. Achishnu Dhatu Bhuvan is applying here, whereas if you define what Shuddha is based on the vivaksha, if I define what Shuddha is, I say Shuddha is a Karaka. If I define Shuddha as a Karaka, not as a Visheshana to Dhi, then this, uh, uh, this will take Yana Adesha. So this uh, Vartika will, we can change the form as Shuddha Dhyav or Shuddha Dhyav. We will see this in the next part in continuation. Vrtavasane Nataraja Rajo Nana Dadakano Panchavaram Uddhar Tukava Sanaka the Siddhat Eta Vimarshe Shiva Sutra Jalam. Any questions? I'll uh, say it right now. The sutras that we looked at today are very important. 
Vartika is not that important. So Vartika, if you don't remember, it's okay. But you have to try and remember the sutras. Any questions? Okay, no questions. Namaste. I'll see you in the next part. Huh?